Oof. Well, hello everyone. We're back after a week's break and um, a bit of a different video today. I'm not working on the van. I've been so, so busy over the last couple of weeks. I'm trying to get a renovation project finished and this is my last job. And guess what? This is my last day. Hi everyone, and welcome back to the channel. I'm Adrian, single father to 13 year old twins, John and Ella. Hi. Our journey began in Thailand, where I used to work as an underwater cameraman and that's where I met their mom. Tragically, we lost her during the birth in Bangkok. I later moved back to the UK to be closer to family. Now, nine years later, I'm home educating the kids and planning exciting adventures. I've always known the transformative power of travel and I want my children to experience it while they're still young enough to want to go with their old dad. We converted my trusty work van into a cozy camper van to embark on incredible journeys. Our future plan is to upgrade to a bigger van and make a more permanent home in Europe. Join us on our journey as we explore the world, learn and grow together. Now, I don't really know where this video is going or what I'm doing with it. I just wanted to release something rather than nothing this week. I just let you guys know where we're at because it's not all about van conversions. This channel was originally intended to be about our lives as a home educating family, a traveling home educating family eventually. Of course, we're not traveling yet, but I just wanted to tell you about where we're at, what's going on, what's happening this week, what's happening over the coming months. So basically, yes, I am driving on my way to the renovation project I've been working on. I have got three doors left to put door handles on and a lock on the bathroom door. And then I'm finished. I am finished work. I tell a lie, I tell a lie. I've promised a neighbor who I did a bathroom for a few months ago that I'll do three doors for them as well at some point over the coming weeks. So that they're just over the road, so that's quick and easy. I'll pop across for a half day and do that. Maybe a full day, actually. <laughs> I've, I've done talky videos in the past about where we're at, where I'm at mentally, and uh, why we're doing what we're doing. And I just thought I'd like to uh, go into it again a little bit more. People seem to resonate with it quite a lot. I've been planning this for a few years. I didn't know exactly what I was planning originally. I was just needing to get away again and take the kids more than anything. As you know, I home educate the kids. And I think education is so much more than just going to school, passing tests, doing exams and things like that, which lead you on to get a job that you don't particularly want anyway. I'm just gonna to pop to the shop and get myself a drink and then I'll be back and then I'm heading down to work. So I'll see you in a minute. So this video could be very jumpy, cutty, choppy changey because I, I should script a video like this, but I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm too busy for that right now. And I can't wait to be perfectly honest that till I can really focus my attention on this channel. Anyway, let's roll down the road and I'll get to work, get this job finished and then we'll talk some more. So yeah, like I say, I've been planning this for quite a long time now. I've wanted to do something for years. I've been wanting to have a plan, to get away, to do something for a very long time and still very massively. I would like to own a sailboat and live on it with the kids and sail all over the world and show them the world like that. And then that trip we did away to Croatia last year was what set it in stone for me, it was like, ah, we could do this. Because driving a van, living out of a van is no hassle whatsoever for me. So then being able to help the kids adjust to it will be easy and they've already had a taster of it. So I think it's a great way of us experiencing life together, family life together, in a small, close-knit uh, close environment while traveling at the same time. So, at the moment, I don't know what the future holds. We never know what the future holds. There's no point saying I'll be here or there in four or five years' time, because life just doesn't work like that. Well, mine certainly doesn't. I think lots of people with more mundane lives know that they'll be doing the same job in five to 10 years time and they'll be in the same house in the same town with the same people. That's fine if that's your bag, but it's not for me. I need more, I need a lot more. Now, you've heard me say on a number of occasions, I'm sure, if you're a regular viewer of the channel, if you're not, if you're new here, hi, I'm AD, single dad, two kids, 
um, quitting life in the UK and uh, going traveling in a van. Why not? But anyway, for those of you who have been around a while, and I've said it a million times before, life is short. And losing the kid's mum and losing my parents and my sister, all of these things have just reinforced this for me so much that it can be over in a heartbeat. And what have you done? Was that it? Was that, was that your life? Oh my God. And there's one thing I say to my kids all the time is you do not want to be there on your deathbed if you're lucky enough to have a deathbed to reflect on and you're not just whacked by a bus. How do you want to look back on your life? Do you want to be happy that you passed that exam and you got that job that you wanted and did it forever until you retired? Or, like I say, for me, I've already had a, a very, very fulfilling life traveling all over the world. I've driven right across Australia. I've climbed in the Himalayas and watched the sunrise over Everest. I've been across India, uh, Thailand, lived in Thailand for 14 years, started a business there, bought land there, met their mum there. Um, you know, I swam with countless whale sharks. I can't even remember, bull sharks. I was in the Asian tsunami and survived that one. That was fun. Um, what else? Oh, so many things. I've driven down through Europe so many times, all the way to Malta twice, three times I've driven to Malta uh, because we lived out there for a year as well, which was fantastic. Uh, but at the time was when my dad was quite sick, so that's why we came back to the UK. Um, sorry, I'll try and stop saying um, or I'll just cut out the ums. Uh, I, <laughs> I'm going to start to do it again. I am at work now and I'll continue that thought shortly. I don't know where I was going with that. I have seen so much. And if I was now to suddenly find myself on a deathbed, I'd go, well, it's been good. I've seen a lot. I've done a lot. And as I always say to the kids, I don't remember cars I've owned. I don't really care or remember houses I've had. I don't remember the TV I owned, the job I had. I mean, obviously I remember them, but I don't really care. Climbing in the Himalayas and watching the sunrise over Everest. I remember that massively as a life achievement. Swimming with whale sharks, driving across Australia, camping out under the stars. These are the things that I remember, the times I had with the people I had them with, and they are what stick in my mind and they are what's important. Making memories, having times, having experiences with people you love. And I am determined to show the kids this way of living. And then it's their choice in the future. If they decide that if John wants to become an accountant, which I know he never will, but if he wants to become an accountant, then sure, he can get private tuition, he can pass the exams, go to university, become an accountant, that's fine. If someone's passionate about doing something like that, you can fast track that learning curve and get there. But he won't. John's going to end up being, as I was, I'm sure, some sort of either a scuba instructor or he's really into uh, rock climbing at the moment. Maybe a rock climbing instructor. I've got friends in Thailand, if you're watching, Good Time Adventures people. Maybe John wants a job in the future. Ella is an artist. It's all she does. It's all she cares about. She's already working on a, a project right now, a book commission. I've never actually told you about that, actually. We will at some point. And uh, I'll be honest with you, she's rubbish at maths. And she's fairly rubbish at written English. But her vocab's amazing. Her humour is uh, second to none. She's so funny. But her art is next level. And she's going to get through life and have a successful business as an artist. Because I will teach her how to run it as a business. And none of this is what... School would not have helped her with any of this. So what's the point? She's already light years ahead of people her age because she's working already on a commission which eventually will earn her money and then she'll move on to the next one and I just think that's invaluable and she's going to be doing it she's going to be working on this project sat next to a beach you know These, this is a life people dream of and like I say people I've bumped into in town say you're so lucky you're so lucky to be doing what you're doing or they say Oh, you're so brave. It's not brave. It's just having the gumption. It's just having the desire 
and the drive to do something like this and not just sitting there watching other people do it on YouTube and wishing that you could do it. You've just got to start putting things together. One of the, the lessons I taught the kids very early on in home education was uh, there's a, a graphic. Uh, I'll see if I can find it and put it on the screen for you. And it shows people at the bottom of a ladder. And one ladder, the first run on the ladder is way above the guy's head. And you just feel like you can never, ever reach it. Whereas the other ladder has got hundreds of little steps on it. And if you start taking those steps, you're going to get there. Whereas if you think the first step is so far ahead, so far out of your reach, you never make the move, then you'll always be at the bottom of the ladder. It's as simple as that. It's so simple. And the kids have taken this on board. Ella especially, she really took it on board. And she has improved herself as a person so much over the last few years. I think that is such an important life lesson. I really, really do. And since I made the decision that we were going to do this camper van and go away, I started making plans. I started figuring out how I could make this possible. Uh, what do we need to get a van? We need money. How are we going to get money? Well, my business is doing really quite well. I fit bathrooms and kitchens and you know, a one man band. I get a friend who's an electrician to come and do electrical work if it's needed. Uh, and I've got a friend who's a decorator if anything like that's needed. Um, and I thought, well, maybe we can upscale this a little bit and bring more money in. How about doing, instead of just one kitchen for a customer or just a bathroom, how about we upscale it and do full house projects, full renovation projects for people. And I take on a project that lasts a few months. And as it is very quickly, uh, I'm at a stage now, like this property here, we go into a property for two, two and a half months, rip it apart completely. Uh, the electrician does all the wiring. Uh, I've got the plasterers that come in. Uh, we rent skips. I go in with my, my brother who's been working full time with me and we do all the work. We've got the decorator comes in and we've got a huge team of guys now. And we come in and it's, it's pleasurable as well because they're all friends of mine and we have a lovely time working in the working environment. But of course, as the project manager and the organiser, I get to not just get paid for the work I do, I get paid for managing the whole project. And then from there, I was able to plan, I'm earning this much, being able to put away that much, how long is it going to take? And I figured it would take me about two years to get in a position to buy a half decent van and then slowly do it up over time. So I was looking at about two and a half to three years to implement my plan. But I put out into the universe. I'm, I was learning about manifestation. Now you might think I'm a hippie here, but I don't care. I started learning about manifestation and I've become quite spiritual in uh, my older years. And I actually, when there's not a camera here in the van, I actually talk to the universe and I talk in a positive way and teach my subconscious that this is what my life is. I'm not one of these people who walks around going, oh, I could never do that. Or, oh, you're so lucky, but I can't do that. Oh, you're so brave, but I can't do that. The more you tell yourself you can't do something, you can't do something. Whereas if you're quite the opposite, which is what I've been, is I'm just talking to the world, to the universe and saying, this is happening. We are going. I'm going to make the money. I am making the money. We are having this life. We are going to live in this amazing new life in a van, traveling all over Europe. For now, sailboats coming in the future, but we'll come back to that. And lo and behold, it all started to fall into place quicker than I wanted, than I, well, not that I wanted, than I imagined. I was fortunate enough that, um, I owned a little bit of land in Thailand and I just left it and sat on it for a long time. Didn't want the hassle of having to go back out there to sort it out or do anything with it. But a friend of mine who was interested quite some years ago, out of the blue, called and said, I want to buy your land because people are building around his house and he didn't want anyone building on my land out of, the, out of his back door. So he just put in an offer. I counter offered. We settled on a price. Boom. I suddenly had the money for the van and then some. So I was not only able to get a van, I was able to get a really nice base vehicle. 
this lovely thing here. And so many other things are happening. The, the channel is doing quite well and uh, I can't wait to focus more attention on it and help it grow more. But, you know, we're getting offers for little sponsorship deals and things like that, which is fantastic. Anyway, anyway, like I said, there's an awful lot of waffle to this video. I'll be chopping the heck out of it. But for now, I'm going to get in there and get these doors finished. Are you coming? You can come with me if you want. So, yeah, this is the project house. Sorry, it's probably quite echoey. Let's move out into this hall. This is the project house. Um, it was a house that, uh, I think it had been an old person's house that they inherited and then they've just lived in it. So it hasn't been renovated for 30 years, 40 years, something like that. Um, so everything's new. We've got new flooring, new doors, new walls, new electrics. There's all sorts going on here. But as you can see, yesterday I was putting these lovely handles on the doors. I've got to do this one here, this double door, and a bathroom door with a lock, and then I'm done. Then I am done, apart from that job I'm doing for my neighbor, but I'm done, this is it, this is the end. This is, I've, I've been doing this job now for about eight years in the UK. I've loved it, I've enjoyed it, I enjoyed the learning process, I enjoy now having the skills, I've enjoyed working with my friends on projects like this. It's been fantastic. But it's getting to the point now where a Monday morning comes round and I get that Monday morning blues and that is something I do not want in my life. I had that in my younger years working in factories and stuff and I do not want that. Waking up on a, any morning and thinking, oh, I don't want to do this. I don't want to feel like that. And I know most people do and that's not right. You know, you do know that's not right. You should be waking up on a morning and going, wow, yes, this is life. Here we go. What's next? And I want that again. And that's what's coming. I'm going to finish these doors. I'll talk to you in a bit. All right, it's the following day. And first, I'd like to say, well done if you are still here watching this video. What a lot of waffle I can speak. Hey, Anyway, at the beginning of the video, what I said I was going to do was let you know what was going to be happening over the coming months and onward. So let's do that, shall we? First of all, we have got boxes full of electrical equipment ready to go in the van, fancy Victron stuff. We've got more hiding on the shelves here. We have got these flaps for the water inlet, the electrical inlet. There's a fridge hiding somewhere in the back of there. There is a wastewater tank. There's a freshwater tank. There is a box full of cables all ready for installing. We picked up this lovely second-hand seat, which swivels and moves backwards and forwards, and it's got a built-in seat belt, which was the main reason I went for that one. The videos are going to return to normal as of next week. It will be van conversion stuff. It might be Sally's van. It might be this van. We're not sure. But we're aiming for about two months to get this van done. I think it's very optimistic, so it might push over into three once it's done, we will be hitting the road and heading off, and that's it. I'm no longer working or earning any money. The only money you receive is a little bit from YouTube, and I'm looking at some other ways to work in the future. I've got a little bit to keep us afloat for a few months just into the new year. Beyond that, it's all down to you and these videos. So you can help us for free if you hit the like button. That'd be fantastic. And dropping a comment helps as well. That lets, lets YouTube know that you're enjoying the videos. You can write whatever you want. Even just say hi from Alaska, if you live in Alaska. Or if you don't live in Alaska, I don't care. Just put something in the comments and it helps loads. Hit the like button, that's fantastic. If anyone really wants to help us out massively, you can jump over to our Patreon where you can sign up for a subscription and pay a small monthly fee and you're going to get extra content over there. We do uh, live updates of what's happening. You get to see what's happening on the van and our adventures like a week or two ahead of everyone else. And we'll also have direct contact with you. So uh, that's an option. Otherwise, I just want to say if you've made it to this point in the video, thank you so much for watching. I hope you got something out of this, but we return to normal viewing next week. See you later, everyone. Bye bye. Thanks.